You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to be back on our Lundby Dollhouse series. And I do need to say thanks to Lundby for sending us all these cool items and all the items in our other videos. And if you're not sure how this video started, actually go back to the original video and you'll see me building the house and working my way through the house room by room. So today I'm going to work on the kitchen, the bathroom, and the kids' room. So what I like to do is open up a set at a time, show you all the pieces, then move over to the house and add them all to that. So when I come back, I think I'll start on the bunk bed set and then move on to the kitchen and then the bathroom. So let's get started. All right, here we go. I did want to show you how nicely everything is packaged. Now that's taped down. I took that out. And then you just take out inserts. And it's nice because you can keep all these boxes so you can repack things if you need to. So here is the bunk beds. And what I'm going to do is each box here I'll show you. Here is my little table. Cool little animal on the top. These almost have a faux finish to them. It's like a little cloth fabric chair. And then underneath that is the carpet. Okay. So I'm going to put my carpet there and I'll put the chairs on either side so we can take a look at it. And on the back, they always have a number. So what I'll do is I'll give you that number in the description so you know which set I'm showing you if you're interested in it. All right, let's take a closer look. Everything looks so pink and green. This will make a nice twins room. The kids are twins, by the way, so let's just see. It looks like the beds come apart. Oh, cool. So you can make it a bunk bed or not, depending on how you want to do it. And then let's look at the bottom. So they're solid on the bottom, which is nice. And then this comes out. So it feels like it's got a little cardboard piece in there, but it's a little bedding and you get your pillow. That's cool. All right. And then the table, let's take a look. The table is plastic. It looks like it's got wheels on it. You can put it on your carpet. I mean, you can set this up any way you want in the room, right? So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to set it up. Maybe it'll be like that with a little area there, depending on how much room I have, or I'll just make them bunk beds again. Either way, I won't know till I get in there and set it up. So let me move on to one of the kitchen sets. Right, here's the next set. It is the kitchen sink area. So what I did was I just took something and cut around the plastic so I can keep all this intact because I like to keep all my boxes intact. Now this has lighting. Okay, there you go. And it looks like all these little things are sitting in here. So when I move this, they're probably going to fall like that one piece did. That's propped open. Oh, well, there you go. Don't flip it over like that. Oh, there's plastic in there too. All right, just flip it over and get it all out and then it's nice for you to put it all back because then you can learn about it. So those open and close. Let's see this here. Nice. This opens and closes. This one opens and closes. So I need to get this out so I can show you everything and put it back together. Let's get all these plastic pieces out. Neat little bottles. It looks like there's actual liquid in them. It's the way they make them. Very cool. And then I'm not sure if I'll be able to get these stand that easily, so I will set them all here so we can take a good look at them. And then when I get them in there, I will reset everything. Looks like ice cream cones. And you get these cool little glasses. Yeah, I'll just set them around so we can see them at different perspectives. All right, so there's my kitchen set. This is the sink and counter area. Again, I'll put the numbers inside. Let's take a look now at the backs. So that's why I was worried about putting everything on there. So there's tape holding those down. Probably take the tape off so you could extend it in the kitchen. All right, that's the next set. Let me close my top. Close this up so you can see it like that. Of course, I want to get this into the dollhouse. This looks like a dishwasher here, isn't that what I think it is? It's got buttons on it and a handle. And then like a little wood shelf where you can store things. All right, very cool. Let's move that over to the dollhouse. 
then I will come back and show you the next set. All right, so the next set I took out already because there was just a lot of pieces. And look at that, it's your little, it looks to be a little refrigerator and ice box. Ooh, that looks like it's for my eggs or something. We'll see, it goes down there, huh? Let's just leave that down there. And then let me take out this piece of plastic here, which is holding all of my stuff. All right, there's no easy way to do that. And there's another piece of plastic up here holding this in and this in place and it, you know to make it all look nice in the packaging you want to prop it all up like they do with these little pieces of plastic so I do need to take all that out and then I have my stove with a hood let me just see get my stove open okay not easy to open on the stove I have to figure that out and then you got your little pots and pans look at everything here and then what looks to be like a little water pot. Got a couple pans, saucepans. I'll reset this all up once I get it in my dollhouse. And you have a cutting board. What looks to be like a loaf of bread. And then a basket, a basket, a box for biscuits, a baskets. There you go. All right. I'll show you the backs real quick. And then to plug in and that does not so when I come back uh, I'll have the next set we'll move into the bathroom check that out and of course we're gonna get to that dollhouse and get everything put in all right the first bathroom set this one's one of the ones where you could just take off the top then take off the plastic inner part and look there are two rubber duckies taped in there. there's your shower stall and I was able to get the stove door open so it was easy to do, and there's a little pan in there, so let me get these out. Everything's taped in, so it does take a little bit. That's going to take a little bit of work to get those out. So let me get the main piece out. This is cool. It's on like a hard plastic clear plate. And my rubber duckies. Look at my two rubber duckies in there. Okay. Let's peel the tape back. Let's get them in the tub. Rubber duckies. Let's get a close-up of the shower, and while you kind of look at that, maybe I can take out these bottles, which are expertly taped in there. Okay, my shampoo bottles. Now those might fit somewhere in there or on the... Uh, on the on the on the counter and cabinet we have going into the bathroom. All right, neat little shower. You even have the drain down there. Can you see the drain in that far left corner? All right. Let's see. Okay, nothing moves there. I thought maybe something moves, but it's all fixed. Let's come back here. You get out here, rubber duckies. You need to be on display so we can see you. Cute little rubber duckies. I will move on to the last little set that we're going to open today and then go to the DAWs. All right, the last set we're going to check out here. Oh, let me move it over here just because it's easier to get this out closer, that top layer of plastic. So there's a couple towels. I'll just start setting stuff here. There's your vanity. I'll just lay that there. Nice. My toilet or commode, whatever you want to call that. It's pretty neat. It's on a piece of plastic, so it kind of will stand up straight. And then in here, there's a couple bottles taped down. Almost looks like uh, perfume. That's going to take a little doing. So here, let me get you to look at this. And check out the toilet. And then, ooh, there's more plastic on this. All right, this one's going to take a little work. Let me uh, come right back and then I'll show you this all at one time. One time. All right, those little perfume bottles took a little bit to get out. So I was just fold, refolding up my towels. and got a little bath mat, which I might put in front of the vanity. I'm not sure. Let me show you the back of the vanity. You got this one plug in. That's on clear as well also. 
See, things start to fall when you move them, but doors open, your toilet lid goes up and down. Pretty neat little set here. So when I come back, I'll be over at the dollhouse. We'll look at it, you know, a little bit more as I'm putting it in and anything features I see. And then uh, let's go. Let's do it. All right, here we go. I'm starting with the kids' room. I decided to put them in this corner of the house for now. And what do I mean by for now? Well, thanks to Lumby, we got a couple extra floors. So I can add more room. So I might move them to a different part of the house. Let's move that there. And then let's put their little table there. And their little chairs. This way they're outside Mom and Dad's room. And they can check on them. Let's look inside. Now I have no lamps in there yet. I do have some I can put in later. But I wanted to get the furniture in place. So let's move on down to the kitchen area. Alright, the kitchen is set. Now I had to put that all in off camera. Mainly because if I was videotaping that you would see this. Just my hand trying to fit all the little pieces in there. Now you notice the stove is open. There's a little black tray that slides in and out. And the item on the far left, which I thought was a dishwasher, could be, I don't know, it's just an open cabinet right now. Got the refrigerator open. And if you notice, the two lights in the main cabinet here. Here, let me move this one over. There's a light there. That's lit underneath there and in those four spots. Now, there should be lights on these. But I don't have the extension pack, which I need to get to plug everything. I might actually have it. i got to check the rest of the items we got. But now, let's see if Mom likes her kitchen. Oh, beautiful. The kitchen looks great, dear. Dear, where are you? I'm in the bathroom. Ooh, I better not bother him there. All right, well, let's go over there anyway and check out the bathroom. I wonder what he's doing in the bathroom. I'm in the middle of a video. Honey, what are you doing? Oh! You're on the toilet. It's okay, honey. Seat's down. Clothes are on. I'm just thinking, you know, do I like where I put the toilet or should I put the toilet on the other side? I think it looks wonderful, dear. How about this? Let me show everybody the bathroom. You come on out and then I can finish the video. Okay, dear. I'll be out in a second. All right, so there's the bathroom. It is lit up on the back area by the mirror. The rear is reflecting into my fence here. Pretty neat, the double vanity, so they each have their own sinks. The shower's in the corner. I've got one rubber ducky by the tub, and one is inside the tub. And then toilet, as you know, goes up and down. Well, I'm not sure you do know that, but it does. Dad was sitting with the toilet down. So when I come back, I think I'm going to show you the whole front of the house so we can see all the rooms. And then uh, we'll check that out next. All right, very cool. I have everything in place now in the outside and inside the house. Now there's a lot more to add. I have lighting and furniture to add to the living room, lighting in the kitchen, the kitchen table and chairs, lighting in the bathroom, and then that outer area in the top right. But I did want to tell you exciting news. We have a third and fourth floor we can add because there might be a new addition to the family. I have that set as well. And then I did want to say in the last video, thanks to everybody for providing all the names, the family names and the pets names. So what I think I'm going to do is compile those into a list and then add them into a poll in the I card at the top of the video. Click on that little I and then you can pick which group of names you like the best. So I'll choose four and then mix them up so you'll have four options up there. Now I also have the outdoor garden area for winter. So the next video I'm going to add that add a floor, a little more furniture, and then I have a Christmas tree and other fun stuff to add for the rest of December. So it's going to be a fun month. Hope you enjoyed the video series so far. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. I'm just going to take the camera off and just move it around room by room and let you look at it and end the video that way. And again, as always, thanks for watching. Later! All right, here we go. This is the outside. Now that hasn't changed much. The next video, it's really going to change. I'm going to switch to the winter scene. Here is the kitchen. Let's see if I can get the camera way in there. I'm still working on lighting. Now you've seen mom and dad's room. That's right above it. That one you've been in before. And then let's move over to the kids area now. I do have more to add to this. And then the whole living room set. So I'm going to set this up for Christmas. So I have those sets, which I'll show you in the next video. So stay tuned. There is the bathroom now, as you can see. And then you know the outside area. So I'm experimenting more with lighting in regards to lighting the whole set so I can have it evenly lit. So hopefully it looks nice in all the rooms. So there you go. That is a 
Nice shot of the whole house inside and out. The garden, the mail, my rabbits. And I'll see you in the next video. Should be pretty consistent now. Had to move some things around and get this set up so it was more permanent. Stay tuned. Again, thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.